It's often thought that eating too much protein causes kidney disease. However, that's not really the case. A 2019 review of epidemiological studies found no association between protein intake on average 1.2 grams per kilogram per day and long-term decline in kidney function among people with normal kidney function. However, there was a link among people with below normal kidney function. So eating too much protein can be harmful for those who already have pre-existing kidney damage. However, there's one mistake with your protein that you can make that can accelerate the decline in your kidney function over time. And that happens in both healthy and sick people. It's consuming too much phosphorus. Chronically high phosphate intake nukes your kidneys and promotes vascular calcification. It promotes a faster decline in kidney function, heart disease, and increases risk of mortality in both healthy people and kidney disease patients. Higher phosphorus intake is associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular disease mortality, even among people with normal kidney function. Excess phosphate in the blood promotes vascular calcification, which increases the risk of cardiovascular events and mortality from chronic kidney disease. Excess phosphorus excretion through urine also causes inflammation to the kidneys. High serum phosphate is linked to a faster decline in kidney function, acute kidney injury, and end-stage renal disease. A 2016 meta-analysis of prospective studies found that those in the highest phosphate group, over 3.6 mg per deciliter, saw 36% higher cardiovascular disease mortality and 35% higher all-cause mortality, compared to phosphate levels below 3.28 mg per deciliter. Phosphorus is an essential mineral and you need it for growth and maintaining pH balance. But you don't really need to worry about phosphorus deficiency because phosphorus is abundant. You can get it pretty much from every food. And most people are actually consuming too much phosphorus. The recommended daily allowance for phosphorus is 700 milligrams for adults. However, it's estimated that most people consume up to twice as much as that. The NHANES US data from 2015 found that men consume on average 1600 milligrams a day and women up to 1200 milligrams a day. Phosphorus is common in many foods, but it's predominantly found in animal foods, such as meat, fish, dairy, and liver. However, a large reason most people get more phosphorus than they need is because of soft drinks and colas that have added phosphorus. Regardless of the source, reducing phosphorus intake is commonly used in kidney disease patients to slow down the progression of their kidney decline. However, in end-stage renal disease, protein restriction or phosphorus restriction isn't really commonly used because at that point you're at a higher risk of protein wasting and malnourishment because your body isn't able to absorb the protein because of poor kidney function. But if your kidneys are working suboptimally then reducing phosphorus intake does improve the outcomes and slows down the decline in kidney function. However, the risk of phosphorus promoting kidney disease and dysfunction also depends on your magnesium status. In a 2015 study, high phosphate levels were linked to end-stage kidney disease only in those who had low magnesium status. Eating too much phosphorus can also inhibit magnesium absorption. Low magnesium status can increase the risk of chronic kidney disease progression by causing hyperphosphatemia. Among diabetic kidney disease patients, hypomagnesemia, low magnesium levels below 1.8 milligrams per deciliter, are associated with a 2.12-fold increased risk of progressing to end-stage kidney disease compared to those with high magnesium levels, over 1.8 milligrams per deciliter. However, too much magnesium in people who have poorly working kidneys or kidney disease can also be harmful because the body can't excrete the magnesium due to the poor kidney function. People with creatinine clearance below 30 milliliters per minute lose the ability to excrete magnesium properly. Magnesium is more important in people who have normally working kidneys or slight kidney dysfunction or if you start to already see a decline in your kidney function measured by your EGFR levels. The RDA for magnesium is 350 to 420 milligrams a day in adults, but around 50% of people don't meet that amount. Some people might need even more than that, up to 600 milligrams of magnesium because of insulin resistance or stress. The optimal ratio between phosphorus and magnesium is around 1.5 or 2 to 1. So 1.5 or up to two times more phosphorus than magnesium. But since the 1900s, this ratio has increased from 1.2 to 1 to 7 to 1, meaning that people today get up to seven times more phosphorus than magnesium, which promotes vascular calcification and kidney disease. Animal proteins have a lot more phosphorus than magnesium, whereas magnesium is found mostly in nuts, seeds, plants, and some seafood. For example, dairy, especially cheese, has a phosphorus-magnesium ratio of 18. Pumpkin seeds, on the other hand, have a phosphorus-magnesium ratio of only 0.35. So they have a much more favorable phosphorus-to-magnesium ratio for kidney health. So if you are a person without any kidney dysfunction, then you are probably getting too much phosphorus in your diet. 
and you're not getting enough magnesium. Over time, this will lead to some kidney damage, kidney inflammation, kidney hypertension, and then eventually leads to the decline in your kidney function. To prevent that, you want to make sure that you're getting enough magnesium and manage your phosphorus intake. Magnesium deficiency is very common and most people might not be deficient, but they're still getting less than what's optimal. The reason for that is because magnesium isn't found in all foods the same way phosphorus is. Soil erosion and other agricultural practices have reduced the amount of magnesium and other minerals in our foods. Thus, virtually everyone would benefit from some magnesium supplementation, especially if you're eating a lot of phosphorus in your diet. The brand of magnesium I'm taking, Nordcode, has six different types of magnesium, which improves its health benefits throughout the body. Use the code SEAM10 for 10% off on the Nordcode MAG6 at livehealthy.com forward slash collections forward slash Nordcode with two O's. Chronic kidney disease is only the 10th leading cause of death worldwide. You might not get kidney disease because it takes decades to develop, but poor kidney function does increase the risk of heart disease quite a lot. The biggest cause of death in chronic kidney disease patients is cardiovascular cardiovascular disease. Chronic kidney disease is associated with an 8 to 10 fold higher risk of cardiovascular disease mortality. There are many things that increase the risk of kidney disease such as diabetes, obesity, hypertension and smoking. However, the most overlooked and underrated aspect of this is excess phosphorus. High amounts of phosphorus directly damage the kidneys and impair their function. That's it for this video. If you want to learn how to live longer and stay healthier, then make sure to click a like and subscribe. Other than that, thanks for watching this video. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.